Glory to God, man. I hope you're having a, a ridiculously wonderful day. I was reading Ephesians 3.20, and it says, Now all glory to God who is able, through His mighty power, praise God, He's almighty God, He's got all the power, at work within us, to accomplish infinitely more than we could ask or think. God is doing things in you that when you see the end result of His Word and His Spirit working in your life, you're going to be amazed. The older I get, you know, I'm got some miles on me. And I was concerned that some things might not work out at one time in my life. I am so amazed at what God has done and what He is doing in my life. It just keeps getting better and better, and I believe yours is going to do the same thing. 2 Peter 1 and 2 says, May God give you more and more grace and peace as you grow in your knowledge of God and Jesus as Lord. When I was a kid, I knew that there was a God and I knew that Jesus was His Son. I believed that. But it didn't affect my life in a wonderful way until I received Him as not just the Son of God or even as my Savior. That's a good thing. That'd keep you from going to hell. But when my life started getting good, it's when I started allowing Him to tell me what to do. Allowing His Word to change my mind to the point where everything I see in life is filtered through my relationship with Jesus and through His Word. So I encourage you today, God wants to give you more and more grace, more and more peace, and He will do it as you grow in the knowledge of Him and as you submit to the Lordship of Jesus. God bless you, man. Christian and I pray for you every day. You may be thinking, well, how could you do that? You don't even know my name. Yeah, but God does. God bless you, man. Have a magnificent day. I'll see you tomorrow.